score update for you. San Diego has added another run. It's now 3-1 Padre. The Bay has tacked on a couple more. They now lead five. Loading the camper, boys. Getting ready for Wyoming. It's coming up. It's going to be fun. So the Padres are doing their job, as are the Tampa Bay. Swing and a miss by Hero again. It's nothing in two. Back-to-back change-ups. It's not local stuff anymore. I mean, the notes and the letters and the what do we got going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get back to you? We'll see. Trying to figure out what we got going with the camper situation. No electricity. Alrighty, everybody. Today is the day. Jeremiah, myself, and my dad. We are getting ready, loading up, and we are going to hit the road. We're headed to Wyoming for the 2020 antelope season first time ever doing this should be fun we got nine days and uh a lot of gear still loading everything up like i said and uh hitting the road about 12 hour yeah 12 hour drive so it'll be a good time totally see you guys on the road Can you smile? Can you smile for Papa? Can you smile? Girls gotta wish Daddy luck. Uh, I miss luck. you. Oh, you got dog hair all over your face. Thanks to your mama taking care of you for the next nine days. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Hopefully, Daddy will kill a goat. He'll be just fine. Uh, Say good luck. Say good luck. Alrighty. Well, finally. We just got uh, everything loaded up. I guess if we don't have it, we don't need it. A um, little bit longer than expected, but we wanted to make sure. We're just about ready to hit the road. It's about <laughs> two in the afternoon. I imagine we'll get there in Wyoming where we're going probably around two or three in the morning. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll play it by ear when we get there. All we need, gun, ammo, tag. I'm waiting a long time for this trip. On the road we go. What do we got for a destination time? About 12 hours. Uh, Courtesy to Graham, packing us some nice peanut butter cookies for our drive. I'm starting to get the munchies now, and no idea where the next stop is, so. Uh oh. Oh, is that jerky? Oh, I haven't even looked in here. Good deal. Oh, there is another sunny Oh, there you go. Soda. South Dakota. Oh, man. Well, we made a little pit stop to get some gas. Use the bathroom. We're getting close to South Dakota and happened to look down and seeing that the connector for the camper 
fell off and has been dragging down the highway for a while. You can see it's missing wires completely, so. <laughs> it's not good. I need to figure that out. We, we got a minor problem. <laughs> what? Look at, look, at the, look at the trailer lights. Bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the core. Was it dragging down the road? Oh my god. Holy yeah. oh. oh, shit. Did they work? <laughs> no. <laughs> look at the look at the end on it. Really? There's no way they work. <laughs> that one's missing wires all the way through. No shit, huh? Yeah, so now what? You got a wire stripper? Tools? Uh, I don't know. Was that plugged in, ever? Oh, you what? I think better off just going to uh, yeah, Walmart and see falls quick before it gets dark and try getting it done. Yeah. Maybe right, we don't run too long without lights. Well, then a little minor problem. Uh, Obviously the wires on the camper are not going to work, so we're trying to beeline it to South Dakota, about an hour out, and see if we can't get it fixed in the Walmart parking lot. Definitely don't want to be running the highway all the way to Wyoming without trailer lights, so hopefully we can get it fixed and get back on the road. It's about 7 o'clock right now in the afternoon. I can imagine by the time we get Wyoming, it'll probably be around 3 in the morning, so still got a ways to go, but... Minor hiccup, hopefully we can fix it and get back on our way. Red and yellow, green and brown, brown and green. They don't open that door. Flesh wound number one on the trip. <laughs> Well, just chilling in the Walmart parking lot. My dad's getting it fixed, so hopefully pretty soon we'll be up and running again, and maybe eventually sometime this week we'll make it to Wyoming. <laughs> well, I got seven and a half hours to go. Get her? We got a light on here. Well, just came across another little problem. Got a burnt out bulb in the back, so we're gonna run in, grab that, and fingers crossed, everything goes well and we'll be ready to go. Should be good to go. Back on the road. Alrighty, well, just made it into South Dakota. Still got a boat. 500 miles to go. Um, had a few stops on the way. It's about quarter after nine right now. So I'm guessing we'll be there probably around three in the morning. But Jeremiah's still holding strong, still driving. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we hit Wyoming. Well. Second, third hiccup for the trip so far.
Let's see if that fixes that. Ooh. Ah, oh, dang, a little nippy out there. One thing after another. At least the check engine shuts off now. Well, we are about to the border of Wyoming. We're about an hour away. I'm taking a break after 12 hours. Weston's gonna drive the last two. Um, probably our last fuel up before we get to probably our campsite or wherever we find. So, yeah, a little rocket. Yeah, fuel. rocket fuel. But <laughs> it's been a long drive. Um, the last two should be pretty quick, hopefully. And yeah, now you get to see Weston drive the truck and hopefully make it there. Mater boys, just cross lines into Wyoming. Still got a little ways ahead of us to where we're going to be staying, but uh, yeah, it's been a, been a journey so far, seeing terrain we've never seen before. It's pretty cool. Uh, seen some wildlife, nothing we haven't seen yet in the wild, but anyways, we're going to get there, get out in the boonies, figure out where we're going to set up the camper for the night, and get ready for morning. See you guys in a bit. That one looking Look at that sucker. Oh, not very wide, but he's... Look at that little shit's ears, man. <laughs> <laughs> like a jackrabbit. Another one in the ditch. Mm -hmm. Got two more over here. That's three, four. A couple of them This one's gonna come out. We might have base camp. Well... Finally made it out here in the hills. Ran into quite a few people camping. Um, had to resort a few different times, checked out some spots. Wasn't what we were looking for. Um, a lot of them had zip for service, which makes it kind of hard, especially running on X and everything else. But I think we might have found a spot. Uh, there is definitely hunting pressure nearby, but we also are on a big chunk right now that we could walk a long ways if we wanted to. So I think we're gonna figure out the camper situation get it in here get everything unloaded and uh, hunt sometime this morning see you guys in a bit morning how's it going not too bad yeah we we're planning on it came away from Eau Claire Wisconsin oh really how far are you guys planning on going? Did you guys hunt it out here before? No, it's my first time. It's too, too hard to figure it out. Right. How far down the road are you guys camping? Way up. Okay. I, wait, is that the... You guys have three tents out? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we passed you guys this morning trying to find a spot too. I guess uh, if we're here later on, stop by and let us know you did. Right. So good, good luck to you guys. Yeah, good luck to you Alrighty, I think we're about ready to gear up, 
just got the camper, everything else loaded or set up. It's time to go kill a goat. Hopefully we can spot some. Got the new spotting scope out and you can see for miles. This is crazy. Definitely a new experience for us, so we'll see what happens.